having a strange spot on your skin, well, that can be pretty scary. You don't know, is it permanent? Is it dangerous? What is it? Well, skin cancer is easy to prevent as long as you know what to look for. And joining us this morning to show us what to look for is our good friend, Dr. Matthew Knight with Knight Dermatology in Orlando. Great to see you, oh, Doc. Thanks, thanks for, for coming again. back to visit us. Yeah, thanks so much. All right, so this is something that everybody experiences, no mm -hmm. matter your skin color, what type of skin you have. Everybody has something that shows up right. at some point and they think, is this something I need to worry about, sure, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go through. You have basically a checklist, right? Yeah, this is what we teach people about how to look at their skin. You know, melanoma is an epidemic in our country. Like mm -hmm. one person gets melanoma, dies of melanoma every hour, which is crazy. It didn't used to be that way. And the, the thing about melanoma is if you find it early, it can save lives. If you let it go, unfortunately, we don't have a lot of ways to cure it. We don't have good chemo for it. Right. So it's important that we go to the doctor and get our skin checked, but it's also important that we check each other yeah. and look for these easy signs sometimes. All right, and so the first one that you tell people to check for is asymmetry. What does mm -hmm. that mean? This is something all dermatologists teach patients about how to look for melanoma on their own skin. Of course, again, melanoma is a cancer of the moles of our skin. And asymmetry, the A in this uh, paradigm here, means one side doesn't look like the other. So it's like one of those old uh, fold tests, the inkblot okay. tests. If one side of it looks dark, with the other side of it looks brown, so one's black and one's brown. This is an asymmetric mole, and this would be the A uh, in, in, in that way of looking at your skin. So, so you brought up a good point. So people who already have a lot of freckles or moles should already be a little more conscious about this, right? You know, they're more at risk, but okay. sometimes we find the ugly duckling. So somebody has relatively normal skin, and then they just have one really funny-looking mole. Okay. Again, that would be the time to call your dermatologist and, and have it looked at as early as possible. Okay. So now let's talk border. Mm -hmm. uh, so what do you want us to know about the borders of, of a mole or, or something that looks odd? I picked this one because it's really glaring. So the we want moles to look like a fried egg, where it's perfect and round and well circumscribed. This one is clearly odd looking. The border is all jagged. This part is what we call nodular, so it's like a big ball. This part is jet black. This is clearly a melanoma, a okay. terrible looking mole. So okay. take, this would be a, probably a fatal melanoma, something to take very, very seriously. Okay, uh, next on your list is C, which is a coloring mm -hmm. of different shades of brown, black, retina, which you alluded to in the first one a little bit, right? Yeah, well, so okay. we, again, we like moles to look like fried eggs, little brown guys that are uh, brown in the middle and surrounded by a little halo. Mm -hmm. We don't like moles to be black and brown, and in the worst case scenario, green or red or blue or white or other colors. Okay. The worse it gets, the more likely it is to be a melanoma and the more serious it, it should be taken. Okay, and this for sure is something to be concerned yeah, about right that, here. That's a bad dermatologist, one. This looks really bad. Okay, and then the other one you want to monitor is the size of it, the mm -hmm. diameter, right? So if you see something growing or getting bigger, right, that's right. bad. That's bad. And this one I always caution people about because we used to tell, tell people if it's bigger than the end of a pencil eraser, be concerned. That's not always true. Okay. But if you combine it with what you're talking about, E is with evolution. So if something's growing and changing, if you're over the age of 21 years old and you have a mole that all of a sudden is getting bigger, you absolutely have to, to tell your doctor about it because that could be a melanoma. So something that looked normal that then is getting bigger, especially if it's bigger than the end of a pencil eraser, talk to your dermatologist about it. Doc, is there a certain place on our body that we are more likely to get skin cancer? Where, where, where do we really need to be focusing? You know, most people get skin cancer in the common places. Like for women, it's the back of the legs. For men, it's the back. But I always uh, take great care to tell people that you can get melanoma anywhere. You know, Bob Marley died of a melanoma in his toenail, if you can oh believe gosh. it. So anybody can get malignant melanoma. But to your point, people that are uh, more genetically susceptible, people that are lighter skin like I am, mm -hmm. people that have a history of sunburns or tanning bed use or maybe a family member with skin cancer are much more likely to get skin cancer, including melanoma. That means if you fall in that risk category, you got to screen yourself and your loved ones, but make that appointment with the board certified dermatologist to get your skin examined. Early detection saves lives in melanoma. We don't have good chemo. So if you find a melanoma early, save a life. Let it grow, unfortunately. It can be a very bad scenario. Right. Got to go see your doctor. Uh, Dr. Knight, how can our viewers find you? Oh, knightdermatology.com online or right downtown. Okay, you're Thanks the best. so much. Thanks so Everybody much. Always good weekend. to see you. Thank you. Friday the 13th weekend, right. Jamie King. Let's oh, talk about the weather no. out there. <laughs>